Bite on your Hi, teacher. Hello, no, buddy. It's in raining. All right. <laughs> it's raining today. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Delmi. Hi, teacher. How are you? It's hot today. Is yes. it hot in your house? Uh, yes, a little. Yeah. Hey, Laura, you're back. Hi. How are you, Laura? Um, well, well, yes. <laughs> are, you, are you wearing a sweater? Yes, I feel kind of cold. Really? But I I wear a shirt. Oh. So I that's for I a compensatory. I don't know. Yeah, it's com <laughs> I it's a compensatory. My, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because right now at least in in by my house is is hot. Well, it's not really hot, but it's not it's not cold, cold, cold. Really, I feel cold here. Like uh, maybe will 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 rain. I don't know. Really? I think, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, let me check one thing, please. Hold on. Okay, who else is here? Patty, hi. Hi, hi teacher. How are you? I'm okay. What about you? I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. How is life treating you, Patty? Uh so so. So so okay. Yeah, you... my mother is, is a little sick, so. Oh, okay. Is she um, okay? Yeah. yeah, right now she's taking some pills, so I think she will be okay. Okay, but it's not COVID, right? Or symptoms? No, no, no. No, no. Because right now everything is COVID symptoms. <laughs> Have you noticed? Oh, my God. It's like my wife. My wife right now. She she has a headache, and psychologically maybe she says, "Oh my God, is this COVID symptoms?" <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not uh -huh. COVID symptoms. <laughs> yeah, I hope. <laughs> yes, we hope. No, I I think I think the complete world is like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you have a fever. Oh my God, what's next? Because me, I think, I think I have had COVID seven times, psychologically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are, I, we are psychotic. Yeah, and you, you know why? Because I remember sometimes I drink coffee. No lo siento tan fuerte. Oh my God, oh my God, is this COVID? I can't feel the flavor. And I start... <laughs> No, pero sí puedo oler, pero el sabor no lo siento. You know, it's, oh my God, I have COVID, I have COVID. <laughs> but psychological, so now. Yes. So now, like, I don't care. I, if, 
Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Juan, you're back. Carolina, hi. Edgar, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Oh, wow, you're happy today, Edgar. Yes, teacher. That, that's feeling right there. Yes, yeah, yes, teacher. Here's my friend Dali. Dali, it's not, it's not Casa Papel. Dali. Yeah, yes, but yes, but but he's Salvador Dali. Yes, yes. But, yes, but he is the face that they use in um he is the face they use in Casa Papel. Yes. Well it's a good show, it's a great show. I don't I don't see. Yeah, I, I recommend you watch it, it's good. Okay, okay. Okay, look, I don't know why I am having problems with my sharing screen when it's videos, but lo último que nos faltaba ver en esto era el present perfect, simple past que empezamos ayer, usando for and since. Correct? So, lo pueden hacer ustedes mañana si tienen tiempo, pero ahorita les voy a dar la explicación. Okay, ignoremos for and sense right now. Right now we have present perfect versus simple past. Remember yesterday, what is the difference between present perfect and simple past? I did it in the class, but I, I think I know. Okay, oh, I think it was... Um, ¿Quién era Yesenia? Laura, me. No, no, yesterday we were practicing. Mm. Let's do one thing here. Oh, yeah, Bronx. Oops. Okay, so we have, I live in Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, and I have lived in Soyapango. Okay, I need, wow, we only have three people today. Oh no, how many people do I have? Kike. Oh no, we have two, four, six, seven people today, nice. No, eight, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, they, some come, they go, come, they go. Okay, Kike. Yes, teacher. Hey, you, you fixed your name. Because huh? yesterday, you fixed your uh, name, yes, 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 yes. Yesterday, you were Kike, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yesterday, I was, what is his name, Kike? Uh -huh. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter uh, wrote she, she uh, my she name. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, can you please explain to me in a simple form what is the difference between I live in Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, and I have lived in Soyapango? Can you please, or <laughs> the complete class, okay? Analyze and analyze your answer, okay? So let's try. Kike, can you give me an example? Try. Uh, I'm imagine, sorry. I, 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 I don't how, understand. How old is your daughter? Sorry? How old is your daughter? Uh, she uh, uh, 13. Okay, she's 13. Imagine your daughter says, Papi, ya que está estudiando inglés. What is the difference, Aki? I live in Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, and I have lived in Soyapango. How can you explain the difference to your daughter? It's a good question. Okay. Let, uh, let, me, let, me ask, let me ask 
to my teacher English. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your answer, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, okay, no I, problem. No I, pro I can explain that. Okay, um, uh, then you know what, Kike? Please select one of your classmates to help you. Uh, you have two, four, six, eight, nine people to ask. Laura. Can, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so say, Laura, can you please help me? Can you repeat again, please, the question? The difference between? Uh, Kike, she's talking to you. Okay. Kike. Uh, can you explain the difference between present perfect versus simple past, please? That, that, that was not my question for you, Kike. Huh? That was not my question for you. Okay. Uh, uh, Who remembers the question I asked Kike? Where is the difference between? Wait, 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 except Laura. Except I, Laura. Uh, <laughs> because you're, you're listening. Who remembers what I asked Kike, class? <laughs> you see, this is the problem. I have nine people, nobody talks, only Laura. Remember? Teacher, I think Thank you, the different. The, no, no. The different... But, okay, no, but listen to my Your question. question Yes. Yeah, I think your question uh, was the difference between live, lived, and have lived. Yes. Um, I asked, uh, thank you, Patti. Laura, I asked Kike to explain the difference between I live in Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, and I have lived in Soyapango. Do you know I the live, difference? I live is the simple present. Is an action. Uh, let me see. Today. Yeah, uh -huh. it's an action. Start. No, no, not finish. I think. And simple present. I don't um, know. Remember, Kike's daughter is 13 years old. So you have to be very, okay. you have to More explain. Specific. She has to understand. Okay, let me see. Uh, I remember the, the simple person we use to express an habit. For example, I brush my teeth. I brush my hair, um, is an action no, okay, not I, necessary, or yeah. with the, your example? No, I understand, but if, if, if you listen class really carefully, I am not asking you the, ex, the explanation of the tenses. I just want to know what is the difference if I say I live in Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, and I have lived in Soyapango. Okay, you live because it's a, in the moment. You still oh, okay. live so, in Soyapango. Present time. Lived, so, yes, okay, I'm sorry. So, okay, good. So I live in Soyapango is present time, correct? Present time, yes. correct. Mm -hmm. All right, good. That's and what I want. I lived is the simple past. You finish. No to more. live in, in there's in that place or that house or uh, I don't it's, uh, I forget the domicilio address in that address and change they have and you have you have live yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I get confused with, with I have because I know the expression or the the expression that I have to live be with two is something is is a order you have two but I have is is like a, um, is when you don't have an option 
I don't know. The the last sentences, I don't know. I don't understand all how I can explain that. No problem, I will explain right now. Because the using have is present perfect continue, no? No. Because, because no. it's have plus ing. Uh, present perfect continue is the perfect. I get confused. Hey, perfect. Okay, you see, you see okay, continue. yeah, this is the problem. This is what I recommend you first. Mm -hmm. First, you have to understand it. Mm -hmm. before you know it. Mm -hmm. um, let me explain why, okay? So, Kike, imagine my mm -hmm. son says, Dad, what is the difference between I live in Soyapango? I lived in Soyapango and I have lived in Soyapango and I say, okay, here's the difference. If I say I live in Soyapango, it's in present time. Mm -hmm here i live here mm -hmm. if i say i lived in soyapango no more the action finished so the action is in the past mm -hmm. i lived in soyapango when i was a little boy i lived in soyapango last year but no more because okay mm -hmm. And when I say I have lived in Soyapango, this is something from past to present. For example, voy a quitar Soyapango y voy a decir Vista Hermosa. I live in Vista Hermosa, a neighborhood. I have lived in Vista Hermosa for two years. Pongan atención, for two years. So that means I, in que año estamos, 2020, right? I started in 2018. So listen, I have lived in Vista Hermosa for two years. The action started in the past and continues to the present. So the action is active. Do you understand? Kike, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. How long have you lived in Santa Ana? Uh, uh, 20 years. So I have yes. lived. I have, I have lived 20 years. Okay, I have lived in Santana 20 years, good. Mm -hmm. So that means you started 20 years ago and continued until this day, correct? Mm -hmm. That is present perfect. The present action, perfect, yes. Yeah. The action mm -hmm. started in the past and continues to the present. Creo que ayer con Yesenia fue que me dijo, no, pero yo he vivido en Soyapango, pero me estaba dando a entender que ha vivido ahí, pero no vive. Ya. Yeah. I, have, I have been living. No, entonces, no he estado viviendo, ¿verdad? Sí. No, entonces. I lived. Exacto. Gramaticalmente, creo que me tenía que haber dicho, yo viví en Soyapango. I was living. I no, was, I, I lived, lived. I lived. Because, finish. I lived mm -hmm. in Soyapango. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Um, so, okay. so this is the difference. When you say I live, it's, it's present time. Mm -hmm. Where do you, where do you work, Marcela? I work in Tigo. Marcela, can you please say, hi, David. <laughs> hi, David. Oh, How nice. was your wow. day? <laughs> oh, nice. I'm going to you. Thank you for calling David's telephone. Please leave a message. <laughs> okay. So, you, okay, so I, I work in Tigo. Okay, now, I want you to tell me this. Vamos a empezar. 
simple present, present perfect, y terminar simple past. Okay, in okay. that order. Yeah, okay. so simple present, y esa misma historia en present perfect, and then simple past. Example, listen, uh, this is my example. I live in Vista Hermosa. I have lived in Vista Hermosa for two years, present perfect. And simple past was, I lived in Los Planes before Vista Hermosa, before La Vista Hermosa. Do you understand? Yes, Kike, dijo Dios. Yes. Thank you for cooperating, Kike. So, okay, Marcela, can you please tell me your example? Okay, work. Uh, work. Yes. I work in Tigo. I'm working in Tigo. Today, I'm working in Tigo. No, uh, yeah, don't well, say, it, uh, just say it, simple present. I work in okay. Tigo. I work in Tigo. Good. Present perfect? I'm working in Tigo. No, present perfect is I have worked in Tigo. Ah, sorry, sorry. No, I, no, I, I confused. Con, uh, I have worked in Tigo. For? For? Two, three, four, yeah, five years? For three years. Three I years. have worked uh, in Tigo for three years. Very good. And before Tigo? I work uh, in, in La U.S. In La U.S. I'm sorry, did you say La U.S.? Sí. Okay. Universal Salvador. Yeah, okay, good. No, I'm sorry, I, I, I think we had a bad connection. Very good. Very good, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Marcela, can you please choose somebody and okay. give him the topic? Uh, Laura. And let me think. Um, music? Okay. I listen music. What music do you listen to? Uh, you can say that. What music do you listen to? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, what music? What music do you listen, Laura? Do you listen to? To. Uh, what music? What music do you listen to? Sorry, I forgot to say it, Laura. Right. No. What music do you listen, Laura, to? Yeah, no, no, it's like this. Laura, what music do you listen to? Ah, did or do? Do you? Did or you? Do. Ah, do you? Okay. So remember, you can start what you listen to in simple present, what you have listened to, and before, what did you listen to? Okay. Go. Um, I, I listen, I listen, Mm. Uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, I forget. <laughs> or what food do you usually eat, Laura? Okay, in that case, yeah. Okay, in that case, hold on. Marcela, your, your question was okay, you could, because I can say simple present, hey, I listen to rock music. Um, I have listened to rock music maybe for 20 years. And when I was little, I listened to Cri Cri. Mm. <laughs> uh, creo que ni saben que Cri Cri, right? Okay. I didn't know. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, or Sabine. Ahí viene la A. Okay, oh. I got it. Mm -hmm. 
I listened um, um what pop music I listen to pop music mm -hmm. I listen to pop music um I listened I have listened I have listened reggae music But there is a problem because it, the question is I don't know how to say because I listen all music. <laughs> yeah, but you see that's the problem because when um the eh, palabra español aquí un ratito cuando alguien le dice eh, aquí tienen que ser un poco creativo porque bueno, por ejemplo alguien cuando hay hay personas que le dicen y y, y qué y qué comida te gusta y hay gente que dice de toda okay y películas te gustan de cuál ah, de todas y música que escuchar de todas entonces es bien difícil sacar una pregunta de ahí me entienden si no sacan como algo específico entonces ok si usted oye de toda música ok si siempre ha escuchado de toda música ok porque yo, yo he pasado etapas en música me acuerdo que a, hoy hoy solo escucho rock y creo que he escuchado rock como por 30 años, pero antes escuchaba hip hop y cric, y cri cri. O los bookies. Ah, no, no, los bookies los escucho hoy de vez en cuando. Depends on the tequila. <risa> ¿Saben quién me gusta y no me da pena decirlo? Eh, eh, los Tigres del Norte. <laughs> so, el jefe entonces, de jefes. Yeah, el no, jefe but, de jefes, señores. Yeah. No, they're, <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah, they're they are cool, man. El locutor. Yo viajaba seguido y me acuerdo que el motorista de la empresa cuando íbamos a Miguel, man, solo les oía. A, a tal grado de que me gustó. <laughs> like, Yeah. Hey, espérate, espérate, no, no la cambies, quiero ver cómo termina, porque como todas son historias. <laughs> ok, entonces Marcela, please ask Laura, where do you work? Uh, present. No, uh, only, uh, it's only that, where do you work? Todas las respuestas van a ser simple present, present perfect, and simple past, así en esa orden. Ok, clase, les vuelvo a repetir. Esto es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, ¿ok? Quiero que me digan, ¿a dónde trabajas? Yo trabajo en Google. Yo he, ese es presente simple. Presente perfecto, yo he trabajado en Google por cuatro años. Y pasado simple, yo trabajé antes en, en Dell. Ok. ¿A dónde vives? Yes. Yo vivo en la colonia Vista Hermosa. Simple present. Present perfect. Yo he vivido en la colonia de Vista Hermosa por dos años. Antes yo vivía en los planes. Así, así las tres órdenes. Entonces, lo más fácil aquí es hacer la pregunta. La, la, decir las tres respuestas es lo. Uh -huh. okay. Y el simple, el, el simple plus. Um, ahí, ahí está. está. Uh -huh. Ahí está. No, el. Per, el Past perfect o algo así. No, no, no vamos a hacer past perfect, ni future perfect, ni nada. Right now it's es only present perfect. Present perfect. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero una cosa les voy a decir. Si ustedes ya entienden que es present perfect, van a entender que es future perfect, past perfect. Uh -huh. cuando, cuando les toque ver eso, no les va a costar tanto porque ya tienen más o menos el... el... This is the basic. Exactly, la base. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. ¿Qué es presente continuo? Deme un ejemplo. I'm presente continuo. Is the action start doing in the moment? Exa okay, good. It's an action in the moment. Can you give me an example? I, I am, am I am learning English. I am learning. I am eating. I am drinking. So mm. present present continuous is an action in present and continu in, in progressive, right? Mm -hmm. right. Present progressive. Entonces, ¿qué sería future progressive? 
oh, it's an action in the future in, in progressive action. So, oh, I'm going to be eating. Oh, okay, good. Que sería past progressive. Oh, it's an action in the past in progress. Oh, I was eating. ¿Me entienden? Como, como dijeron ahí, es la base. Si entienden present perfect, cuando les toque ver future perfect y past perfect, no les va a costar mucho. Okay, okay. so go please. Laura, where do you work? I work in Huawei. I have work for one year and a half and, and a half yes and work in Tigo and before I work and before Tigo. I work in Tigo very good I have a question do you know Silvia Ramos in Huawei Huawei I don't know. She has like green eyes, no? Ah, Silvia Ramos. Yes. Maybe she's in the uh, uh, Avante, Bill Avante. Oh, okay. Great. I am in the other project. Oh, okay. I am in the project. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She's my cousin. <laughs> but I remember she told me that she works in Huawei. Uh, okay. All right, very right. good. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Laura. Okay. Laura, please ask somebody. Okay, let me see. Brenda, are you here? There, sorry. Are you there? Brenda okay. Martinez. Brenda, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Okay, go with the next, please. Oh, ya va a sentir yes. usted como me siento yo. <laughs> <laughs> Talking with the mirror. Yes, I, I see 10 people. And do you understand, class? Nobody talks. Uh, ask, okay, uh, ask, ask Yesenia. Yesenia is very no, quiet today. Wait. That's not normal. Oh, <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> we try to participate other more. Tell me. Uh, ask the people that participate more. Yes. Tell me, are you there? Hi. Yes. Hi, Tell me. All right, Tell me. Tell me, where do you live? Esa era la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yeah. Uh, yes. I live in Apopa. I have lived in Napopa for 10 years and I lived in Napopa. Okay. So before Napopa, where did you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, good. So okay. that's how you need to finish. Mm -hmm. I live in Napopa. I have lived in Napopa for 10 years. And mm -hmm. before Napopa, I lived mm -hmm in Santa Tecla. Okay. Okay, good. All right, your turn. Please ask uh, Juan. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Good evening, Thank sir. You. Nice to hear you, sir. All right. Okay, Juan. Uh, where do you work? Good. I work in Santa Elena. Excellent. I have worked in Santilena for five years. Good. In, uh, before I worked in Didea. Yeah. All right. Wow. Um, you have always worked in cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Very good, Juan. Okay. Thank you. Juan, please ask uh, Yesenia. Excuse me, Juan. Hi, Yesenia. Hi, teacher. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. I don't think you are okay. You look sad. Uh, because I, uh, I am a little tired. Okay. This day was very stressful for me. <laughs> okay, no problem, Yesenia. When class finishes, you take a shower and go to sleep. 
relaxed. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Juan, please ask Yesenia. Okay. Uh, hi, Yesenia. Hi. Are you sick? Mm, no, I am not sick. Okay, tell me. Good. Tell me. Let me see. I don't know. No sé qué preguntar. Ya preguntaron dónde viven, dónde trabajan. Ya, yeah, pero quedémonos en eso porque lo que quiero es que practiquen los tres tiempos, cómo distinguirlos. Porque es un poco más complicado si les digo eh, qué celular usan. Oh, yeah. Ask her, ask Yesenia, what cell do you use? What cell do you use? Uh, I used a uh, Samsung cell phone. Okay, um, I, in this case, in this case, Yesenia, it's not a used, it's I use. I use. Mm -hmm. Okay, I use a Samsung cell phone. Okay. Uh, I uh, have used, see? Yes. I have used uh, a Samsung cell phone for two years and I used Samsung cell phone before using another Mac. <laughs> no, but you see, in this case, in this case, it's not correct because you're saying in present time you use a Samsung. Yes. And you have used a Samsung for two years. For two years. But in the past, you used the Samsung, so. I used the Samsung so, too. So in this case, puede decir, no hay simple past. No siempre tiene que haber un simple past. Ah. Lo que puede decir aquí es, I have, I have always used a Samsung. Okay, I have all, I que todas las marcas, I have always. ¿Cómo no. dijo? Siempre usaba Samsung. I, I, I have always used a Samsung cell phone. Okay, good. Okay. Wow, you are rich. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> I, I, well, in this moment, I think I use a, a, a Huawei. Uh, I have used Huawei for maybe four years now. But before, man, I used de una marca que ni me acuerdo. I used Blackberry, I used... I never used Blackberry. <laughs> you never did? But I worked in uh, for give a support for Blackberry. <laughs> oh, really? When I was, when I was, when I was in TU. When, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I used a StarTac. I don't think nobody in the class used a StarTac or yes. No. Very good. Yes, teacher. You used I that only for, use Edgar? Nokia yes. and play yes. with the snack. My cell, my first cell phone. Yeah, me too. My first cell phone was a StarTac. StarTac. And it was cool. In that time, it was very cool. De galleta, ¿cómo le decían? Huh? De galleta le decían, no. Que se abría así. Yeah. Controller. It was flip. Flip. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Motorola. 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 I used Motorola cell phone before I used Samsung cell phone. Oh, okay. There you go. Entonces, ahí está. So, okay. Yesenia, so you use a, a, a Samsung and you have used um, a Samsung for two years and before you used a Motorola. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Hey, thank you, Juan. Thank you, Yesenia. Mm -hmm. Yesenia, please ask ask somebody, uh, ask Edgar. Edgar. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Edgar. Hi, hi. Uh, <clears throat> ask him, are you married? <laughs> are you married now, Edgar? I don't marry. You're not married? No, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. 
Okay, Kike, you're married, right? Okay. No, no, but the question is more simple. Okay, okay, okay uh, but please ask Edgar. Ella quería que me dijera si estoy casado, he estado casado por cuatro años y antes estaba, obviamente, soltero. <laughs> yeah, you know, before I was happy, mm. free. <laughs> free. <laughs> I was happy, free, so. liberal. <laughs> liberal. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Yesenia, please ask Edgar, I'm sorry. Where do you play football, Edgar? Good. I play football in my house. No. Near my house. Near my house. I have played football in Two years. For two years. Two years, for two years. And I played football when I was a young, I see. Okay, good. Okay, good, no problem. And listen, and the question, yeah, and the question is, how long have you? Mm. For present how perfect, long? for present perfect, how long have you? Uh, Laura, how long have you lived? How, how long have you lived in Los Planets? Twenty-nine years, all my life. Okay, so I have lived. I am ah, sorry. I have lived twenty-nine years in Los Planets. In Los Planets. Good. Or I have lived all my life. I have. I have lived all my life. Nice. Good. Uh, Claudia Sanchez, are you there? Yeah. Sure. Hi, Claudia. Claudia, you're single, correct? Uh, more or less, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> more or less. Women are so complicated because more or yeah. less. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, wait. Safe. So, wait, wait. Let, let me, let me, give me Give me three chances. Number one, in this moment, you are angry with your boyfriend. <laughs> Am I correct? Uh, no. Yes. Okay, so you two are angry. What is angry, teacher? Enojado? Enojado. Uh, no, no. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so discard number one. Number two. Your partner is in a different country? No. <laughs> okay, number three, you have recently broken up. Recientemente acaban de cortar. No. <laughs> okay, so why so so? <laughs> I, I have a relationship. No. I'm sorry? I have a relation for four months in this moment, but not is a no, 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 it's nothing serious. Formal. Okay, good. Uh -huh. But okay, no, no, that's no problem. Formal, informal, but you have a boyfriend, correct? Yes. Okay. No, that's no yes, problem. I have. Yeah, remember to have a boyfriend is not necessarily something serious. No. Okay, so how long have you been with your boyfriend? I have been. I have been three years with my boyfriend. With my boyfriend. Okay, good. That's it. All right. Brenda. Yes. Brenda, are you back? Yeah, I think we have bad connection, Brenda. 
It's okay. I see that you're trying to talk, but no problem, Brenda. Don't worry about it. Let me see. Do I see more people here? Luis Lemus, are you there? Yes, teacher. Luis, do you like soccer? Yes. Yes, I like soccer. Play what soccer. team? What team do you like? Uh, sorry. <laughs> what, what team do you like? Well, I, I I I love play soccer. Okay, good. Please listen to my question. <clears throat> what team do you like? What team? Do you like Aguila? Do you like Alianza? Do you like Inter Milan? Do you like no, I yes, yes. Uh, di, 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 no, no, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> no, okay, so, por méritos propios, no creo. No, no sé, pero ya no. subió. No, no, I understand. Yeah, no, okay, so you, you like Firpo, good. How long have you liked Firpo? How long is... ¿Siempre le ha gustado Firpo? What? Yes, yes. Yes, so, I like Firpo. I have liked Firpo all my life. I have este, Firpo eh, 11 years. Okay. ¿Qué me dijo? Uh, ¿Qué me dijo? I, I lie? No. I, okay. I lie. Mr. Lemus, can you continue, please? Yes, yes, teacher. So, I have lied. I, I lied. Um, Luis, no sé si ha estado viendo los ejemplos anteriores. As present. Perfect. Perfect. Y, y okay, Luis, past, I, past I, past have, past. I have liked Firpo for 11 years. Please repeat. I, I like Firpo. No. I have liked. I have liked. Firpo. Firpo. For 11, 11 years. For 11 years. Good. Tengo una curiosidad. ¿Qué me dijo? Ah, soy aficionado de, de Firpo por 11 años. No, no me dijo eso. Literalmente no. Aunque okay, sí está algo. ¿Qué me dijo? <laughs> Nunca oí que me dijo fan en la oración. Por eso fan. le dije. Ah, yes, Oiga bien yes. lo que me dijo. I have liked Firpo uh, I... for 11 years. I have like fan, sería. No, no diga fan, solo me dijo, I have liked Firpo for 11 years. ¿Qué me dijo? Ah, sí, es cierto, ahí dije que me gusta este Firpo por 11 años. Y está correcto decir me gusta Firpo por 11 años. No, no sería fan, but I have fan. No, no, okay, okay, no, no, I'm sorry, Luis, usted me dijo me ha gustado el Firpo por 11 años. Ok. Ya, yeah. nunca yeah. dijo fan. No. Nunca dije fan. <laughs> yeah, okay. I... Okay, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Yeah, o sea, acuérdense. Pero también puede decir, I have been, he sido, I have been a Firpo fan for 11 years. Uh, okay. Hay, hay muchas formas de decir lo que uno quiere decir. Lo único que a la hora de... Sí, la, por la traducción. Ajá, porque no, no puede. Usted me dijo, I have liked Firpo for 11 years. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién me dijo? 
Ah, que yo he estado siguiendo al Firpo por 11 años. Uh, nada que ver con lo que me dijo. Me dio la idea. Ok. Pero no fue eso lo que me dijo. Ok, no problem. Ok, uh, do you see my screen here? Four yes. percent. Ok, um, four. Listen to this. Four, after four, the next is the quantity. La cantidad. Puede ser horas, días, semanas, meses, años. Example. ¿Quién fue? Eh, Marcela, right? Marcela, are you here? Yes, teacher. Oh, Marcela, you have worked in Tigo for... Three years. For three years, right? Okay, very good. That's the only possible answer, class. After four, you need to say a quantity. Mm. Okay. Okay, the quantity. Um, yeah. Let me see. I think Laura has worked in Huawei for one year. Juan has worked in Santa Elena for five, five years. for five years. Good. So that is the only possible answer. This is not correct. Juan has worked in Santa Elena for um, for nineteen nineteen ninety eight. It's not correct. It's not correct to say Laura has worked in Huawei for 2019. No. When you mm -hmm. say for, you have to say the quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rapidito. Byron, hey Byron. Hi, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I forget about you, Byron. No, no problem. No problem, teacher. Yo le escucho bien. Le he echado el rollo. <laughs> Byron, you, you live yes, in teacher. Ciudad Delgado, correct? No, teacher. <laughs> Far Ciudad Delgado. I, I live in Cojutepec. Oh, yeah, you live in Cojutepec. Yeah. And where do you work? In my house with my father as a mechanic. Yes, you're a mechanic. How long have you worked with your father? Mm, I have worked with my father for three years. Very good. For three years. Nice. Teacher, I have a question. Please. Para, para decir desde tres años, since eh, three years. No, a eso vamos ahorita, pero incluso me lo quedas de decir mal en español porque no se puede decir desde tres años. <laughs> yeah. Ah. No, 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 está bien porque me gusta esa pregunta porque a eso vamos ahorita. Entonces, cuando decimos for, ¿qué sigue clase? Quantity. Quantity. Three, three years, month, weeks. Ajá. Puede ser. Days ago. Yeah. Puede ser minutos, pueden ser horas. Minutes. Seconds. Ajá. El bebé ha estado dormido por dos horas. Se ha ido la luz por cinco minutos. Three days. Por tres días. Ya. Mi pobre oh, gente, vale. soy a pango, que se ha ido la, el agua por 20 días. Algo así, ¿verdad? One month. No sé cómo eso es posible, Manuel. <ríe> oh. Saben que yo tengo mucha suerte porque donde yo vivo, dicen de que aquí no caía el agua, solo caía como dos veces a la semana. Yo no sé por qué desde que hicieron ese redondel del paso del jaguar, quizás, no sé, tocaron tuberías o no sé qué, pero todo el día tengo agua. Every day. That's a good. Yeah, it was good. That sounds good. Cool. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora, Byron me hizo una pregunta. Me preguntó desde... En español, ¿cómo usamos desde? ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo usando desde? Since. 
Ah. En español después de desde, ¿qué sigue? Hasta. Hasta. Desde hasta. No, yo nunca he oído una oración que diga, yo voy desde hasta. Desde el, el, el tiempo, el número, la cantidad. O el tiempo sería desde los años. Exactly. 1900. Exactly. Desde el comienzo. ¿Cómo así? Ok. Uh, Kike, where do you work? I work in Inkscape. In Inkscape. For in how Inkscape. long? For three years? Uh, for. Uh, before was Star Motors. Okay. Uh, in Star Motors, I worked for 19 years. Wow. Okay, so you have worked in Star Motors for 19 years? Yes. Okay. Or you have worked in Star Motors since 2001. 2001. Mm hmm en ese año yes. pasó, right? Yes, yes. Okay, eso es sense. How do you spell sense? Yes. S S I N C E. Yeah. Do you see in the screen mm -hmm. sense? Yes. Sense. Sense. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes sense. Yeah, the two are correct. Sense. Uh -huh. Bueno, realmente es sense. 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 Okay. okay, so when you say sense, when you say sense is the beginning, the day, the year, or the month, but not the quantity. Okay. So I don't I don't need a number. When you say sense, you need You need a time, a day, a year, but not a number. So listen to this. I have worked, vamos a four and cents. Um, Claudia Sanchez, are you there? Yes. Okay. Listen to this. I have worked in the company for seven years. Can you please tell me that that sentence usando sense? I so let me change, but it's more fácil la matemática. I have worked in the company for 10 years. For 10 years. Can you please give me an example using sense? You, you have worked in science. In the company. In the company for 10 years. That was my example, but you give me an example with sense. You have worked 10 years science. No, no. Who can help Claudia class? Me. Okay, Yesenia. Uh, Listen, Claudia. Uh, she has worked. She? Who is she? No, say. Oh, no. I have worked. No, since... not you. Not, that was not my example. Can oh, I hear? No. You see? Oh, you need to okay. practice listening. Okay, Juan Hernandez. Juan, listen to my example. Oh. I have worked in the company for 10 years. Can you give me the example, Usando Sense? You things were, you were sync or you think work? You have worked in the company? You have worked since, since uh, 2010? No. Years remember, ago. remember, que les dije, después de sense, que es lo que nunca tienen que poner? Números, you know, el principio. Quantity. No quantity. Quantity is only for four. Mm -hmm. so, no quantity. So what is the correct way? I have worked in the company for 10 years. 
Oh, I have worked in the company since 2010. Um, I have, I have, I have been sick, estado, I have been sick for five days, for four days, I'm sorry. Oh, I have been sick since Monday. Mm -hmm. Byron, ahí Bye. está tu, tu pregunta, porque tú me preguntaste cómo se diste desde tres años. Y en, yeah. inglés, y en inglés, como tanto como en español, no puedes decir una cantidad después de desde. Tienes que decir el principio de esa acción. Mm -hmm. Entonces, tú has trabajado con tu padre desde el 2015, 16, creo. Sí. Ajá, desde el 2016. Ok, okay desde. Tiempo completo. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Entonces, I have worked with my father since 2016. Okay. Oh, I have worked with my father for three years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Yes, I understand. Good. Right. Thank you. Sure. So, yeah, yes, Juan. Yes. Entonces, la respuesta correcta era, yo tenía que decirle, you have worked since 2010. Exactly. Uh, so, Claudia, you... Yeah. You're welcome. Claudia, you have a boyfriend for, you have had a boyfriend for four years, correct? For three years. For, for three years. Uh, uh -huh. three years. You, no. Is that correct, class? Since three years? No. no. What is the correct? Since? Since. Since. Uh, two. Thousand, uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Claudia, do you understand the difference? Claudia, do you understand the difference between sense and four? No, teacher. Okay. Who can explain to Claudia the difference with four and sense? Class? I don't know the difference, but I know I know when we have to use. <laughs> you don't know the difference? Oh my God! I uh, yeah, uh, yes, I no, I don't. I know what uh, what we have to do. <laughs> then you do know. Yeah. Kike, can you explain to Claudia? I think uh, uh, it's it's very complicated for me. Well, no, why? Why? Explain, okay. Juan. Juan. Yeah. In Spanish. No. Ah, in Spanish. No. no. Okay, Claudia. Class. What is after four? What do what goes next after four? Byron. I can't number. Quantity. The Sorry, quantity. Four is quantity. So mm. for for example. So you need uh, a number for three days, for three, three years, uh -huh. five days. Mm. Twenty years. So Claudia, uh, you you uh, have a boyfriend for since? three years. Yes. Four, and then after four, va un numero. For three years, three days, three weeks, whatever. Pero después de four, va un numero. Y, after, y sense, class? Years. After, after since? Is the time. Years, time. It's not the time. It's the beginning. El principio uh, de esta acción. Mm -hmm. Okay. The beginning of that action. Beginning of that action. Entonces sería el número antes de tres años. Tres años. Fíjese que irónicamente, no. eh, irónicamente, esta misma gramática es la misma en español. Por ejemplo, usted ha tenido un novio por cuatro años, tres años. O ha tenido un novio desde el 2017. Si usted se da oh. cuenta, cuando, yo di, cuando usted dijo por, inmediatamente después de por va una cantidad. Por uh -huh. cuatro, tiene que ser un número, pues, cuatro. Y puede ser cualquier cuatro días, cuatro horas, cuatro años. Uh -huh. 
Pero cuando usted dice uh -huh. desde, mm, tiene que yeah. decir el comienzo de esa acción. Example, uh -huh. le voy a dar un ejemplo. Eh, Bukele, oh, Bukele has been a president for two years, two years, no? Mm. No. Two or three years, oh. or one, I don't know. One. One, one year, and month. Okay, so Bukele has, been the, Bukele has been the president of El Salvador for one year. Mm -hmm. yes. Or yes. Bukele has been the president of El Salvador since 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Y esto es súper fácil como ustedes lo pueden practicar porque... Cuando jueguen, solo háganse un ejemplo. Eh, I live in, no sé cómo se llama su colonia, digamos, eh, Santísima Trinidad. Creo que todo el mundo tiene una Santísima Trinidad. He conocido como cinco colonias que se llaman Santísima Trinidad. So, you can say, I live, I have lived in Santísima Trinidad for 10 years. Y ahí mismo, usen con since. I have lived in Santísima Trinidad since 2010. I work in Metro Centro. I have worked in Metro Centro for five years. Oh, I have worked in Metro Centro since 2015. I have been married. Oh my God, cuánto llevo de casado. <laughs> you don't remember? No. You no, made your mind. No, I don't remember. I need to check <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do that. I always check on Facebook, but I got that. When it's not that my esposa, I I check Facebook. No, no, anniversary. Entonces. <laughs> yes. No. So I I have been married for six years, I think. Oh, I have been married since 2000. Voy a hablar así porque no puedo estar oyendo. Since 2014. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you understand the difference now between four and mm -hmm. since? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's blue. No. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Um, Byron. <laughs> yes, teacher. Here I am. Do you understand, Byron? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I understand. All right. Good. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Byron. Okay, class. Um, I hope you have a very, 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 very good night. Okay, please practice. Sorry, Recuerda... teacher. Esta fue la última clase. I don't hear. Sí. Esteba. Sí, che, ya no lo vamos a volver a ver. Faltó la foto. Ah. No, miren, eh, solo eh, si algún día lo vuelvo a ver otra vez o no, pero no, en cariño. Les, les recuerdo, es todo lo que practiquen, ahorita ustedes enfóquense más a hablar, no en leer y en escribir. Hey. De, verdad, de verdad, porque no pueden, lo que les dije una vez, no pueden leer o escribir algo que no pueden hablar. Obviamente. Uh -huh. Si ustedes aprenden a hablar, después todo viene fácil porque escribir y leer se aprende al mismo tiempo. Eh, no creo que nadie aquí se pueda acordar qué aprendieron primero, leer o escribir. No, lo aprendieron juntos. Uh -huh. yeah. y, y lo que les dije hoy, eh, practiquen bastante los, los tiempos simples. Lo dice la misma gramática. El futuro simple, el presente simple y el pasado simple. Apréndense eso bien, porque es una base para todo. Eso son como lo que le diría que a veces, cuántos colores hacen todos, son tres o cuatro, creo. Que al mezclar de cuatro colores salen todos. Entonces ahí están las bases en los tiempos simples. Ya. Yes. Eh, Vean, vean Dora la Exploradora, vean Plaza Sésamo, vean Blippi, vean cosas para niños en YouTube que no les dé vergüenza. 
eh, porque hay mucha gente que dice, no, yo no veo, ¿eh? ok, claro, no lo vean. Igual yo, yo, yo a veces quiero aprender francés, me pongo a ver <ríe> abecedario para niños en francés y aprendo algo. Yo me apelo David. Bonjour. Oh, that was nice. Oh, la la. Oh, muy tu placer en conocer. Yo estaba en francés que sabía era de Pepe Lapu. <risa> ah, entonces. En francés solo sé que se dice restaurante. Omelette eh, du fame. No, du fromage. Lo siento, no sé si ustedes vieron un meme de Sánchez Serén que va a Subway. Va a Sandwich. Que va a Subway. Y, y cuando le dicen, ¿qué tipo de pan quiere? Y él dice, eh, francés. I'm sorry, that was no. funny. Richard, yes. y el siguiente nivel después de este, ¿cuál sería para nosotros? Eh, es una muy buena pregunta. No sé en cuál los pusieran, tendrían que... Yo creo que les van a mandar mañana un WhatsApp. Okay, ya uh, comenzaron a mandar para yeah, las nuevas inscripciones. Ah, ya los mandaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces creo que sería, depende cómo se van llenando los grupos. Mm. Pero, pero quiero, pero, tienen mi correo, ¿verdad? No. No. Only WhatsApp. Man, I hate this. ¿Y en qué idioma lo tengo? En portugués. Portugués. Ahí estoy. Um, Gamal. Puya. Gmail. Es que ahorita ustedes que ven en, en, mi, en, en mi pantalla, solo ven el Word, la página Word. Sí. Sí, ya se ve su correo. Sí, okay. su correo. Yo logro ver esa mitad y la otra mitad lo veo a ustedes, entonces por eso no sé si se escribe bien. Ok, ya, okay, yeah. that's my email. Eh, mándenme un correo ahí, mándenme un correo ahí, le voy a mandar yo cosas interesantes en inglés. Ok. Para que ustedes practiquen. Es, es y, gmail.com. Yes. D de David Baltrons de mi apellido, gmail.com. Ok, teacher. Okay. Vamos a extrañar. No, y también eh, ahí estoy en Facebook. <ríe> si me quieren agregar, no problem. A ver, okay, pa paso bastante en Facebook porque a veces en el trabajo cuando no hay nada. <ríe> Mi trabajo me hizo adicto a esa cosa porque como a veces no, no cae nada, pero tengo que estar pendiente. Entonces tengo dos monitores, o paso viendo películas o Facebook y... <ríe> Un trabajo así quisiera ir. No, hay, hay, hay unos que nos odian en, en, de, de la empresa porque ellos sí pasan bien ocupados y nosotros no. Y a, a veces hasta les pongo por molestarlos. Ey, recomendarme una serie, yo no sé qué ver. Ya vi todas. Las... Ey, te odio, te odio. Te odio. Yeah. Ahí también tengo bastante, les puedo pasar links para ver películas. Ok. Ok, ok, class. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, teacher. Thank you for all. You are welcome. Nice to meet you, you teacher. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, everyone. Yesenia, Good mucha night. suerte con su mamá. Ah, ok, yeah. sí, teacher. But, uh, Cuídense todos, por favor. Yes, you too. Thank sí. you. Usar mascarilla. Thank you. Bye. Lo voy okay. a extrañar. Cuídense, adiós. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> nice.